Hey guys, how's it going? Today, um, if you see my other video, we are scraping the rust on this 2007 Chevy Desperado. Came up with a new name for it. Yeah, that's right, 2007. I'll put the link in the description to the other one. You can check out that video. The other video, um, which is up before this one. But we're just under here scraping a lot of the rust. I pressure washed it and, uh, fucking Chevy, fucking junky, fucking metal, fucking undercoating junk. They don't want these things to last. So we're gonna try to let them last a little longer. Um, I need my long scraper, sort of. Anyway. Yeah, so we're going to get scraping this, and we're going to spray some uh, fluid film on it. Um, some of you guys may have heard that before. Um, you can get them at a New Holland dealer, or a John Deere dealer, most likely have them. You can get them in spray cans and one gallon cans. We're getting the one gallon can. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to get scraping now. Hey guys, John Deere 50D here. You're watching John Deere 50D on YouTube TV. There's part of the frame. The back was the worst. The front was up here. The back was back there. I don't know why the back is the worst, but... It doesn't have inner fenders either, so we're fixing that next year. When you take the box off, we're going to get uh, some inner fenders for it. I use my uh, trusty blowgun, and that basically chipped most of it off. I didn't even have to use the scraper. Because a blowgun at the... Uh, well, that's not even full. At 120 PSI, a blowgun's got some power for removing rust. So, Well, it doesn't have to remove rust, just loose rust. So it works pretty good for that. So uh, we're going to get the garage cleaned up. I'm not sure if we're going to spray the fluid film in here, in the garage, or outside. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully YouTube's not picking up on the music, but it probably is. But uh, we got the front wheel off here. And uh, now we're going to get spraying some of that stuff in here. It's going to be the first time I'm spraying it out of a new gun. We're going to spray it on all these nice lines, and uh, this here, the grease is kind of keeping that one apart from Austin. And uh, up in there, down, and that's underneath, so we got both wheels off. Heavy bastards. But uh, yeah, we're going to get uh, scraping, blowing off this front here, and we'll get firing up the gun. Well, we got the... Uh, fluid film I'll put on the truck I'm um, gonna use this Campbell Hausfeld uh, pressure pressure feed gun here um, worked pretty good you know, you don't need a good... Uh, the, some of the reviews I read said uh, it doesn't spray a good spray pattern. But uh, I'm not using it for paint. So, yeah, I guess we really don't need that. So, uh, she's drip drobbling, drippy everywhere. Um, some handprints on the bumper there. Sprayed it on the hitch. All in there. All over the place. It's even on the exhaust pipe. That'll be smoking for the next year. <laughs> uh, I'll get up, to, get up the front there and show you some of that. Okay, so here's we're in the middle section here. Um, juiced it all under here.
fits and the exhaust pipe too. Missed a little spot there. And in the front of that cross member. That should be alright though. We got I guess maybe I should get back in the front there and coat it a little bit. I'm not doing that today though. We might uh I cleaned up the gun already. We might take the tailgate off and spray it in them holes. So that's when I'll I'll come under here and hit any missed spots. Well, I didn't really miss too much, just uh in the front there. Right there, you can see the bottom of the control arm and stuff I missed. A couple little areas here, but we can get all them on that when it's not up in the air. You know, it doesn't have to be jacked up to do that. tires back on and uh, we'll be set to go. Well I suppose we got a tad bit on the exhaust. <laughs> you can see it all smoking under here. I just seen a drip come down. I don't know if it's still dripping or it made the exhaust warmed it up and making it melt again. Uh, not sure what that meant. Nah. Stripping off. Frame still. Why is it still that wet? You can really see it coming off that frost pipe there. So yeah, we're probably going to get back under here with the gun and just shoot in all these little holes. I didn't really want to be under here. Because uh, it was sort of kind of... Dripping all over. And uh, I didn't really want to get it all over me. So yeah, let's probably just burn off the exhaust and... Uh, should be golden. Well, she's all sprayed up. We even tried to get in here on uh, that frame rail there. And back, back in there where all the nice rusty wrinklings are. <laughs> um, there's down in there. I didn't really shoot in there. That doesn't get too bad, as you can see, especially over there where that grease port is. Um, we got in between the rocker panels. See if you can. You can sort of see the little holes in there. They're like uh, that big and that wide. We got the gun in there and sprayed them. And uh, we did that on the other side too. Common rust spot is the rocker panels. Another rust spot is up in here, in the back quarter. So this is actually one. Starts from underneath there. There's no panel or nothing. Goes right back in here, back down in here. Then right in, right in here, there's like a little plastic piece. You can just sort of see up in there. But uh. So, I got the gun all the way up in here with the gun and sprayed it that way. I mean, it's not going to perfectly coat it. We got the hitch. You see the oil on the tailgate. We got down in... Them holes, all them. You can see we had rust over here we fixed. 
some uh, rust there too. Rust, 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 and more rust. Spare tires in there for now. That was all rusty. I painted that up. I'll spray some of that fluid film on that before I throw it underneath the truck again. Get all up in the tubes and here. So hopefully that stuff works pretty good. I want to do the bottom of these doors. You can see them bubble in there. Got all in here. Oh well, yeah guys, there's the uh, fluid film spray on the 2007 Chevy Rusterado Classic. Um, these were a 2006 model body style. But they had 2007 Classic because that was the manufacturer year. And uh, this truck actually wasn't put on the road till 08. So, yeah, there's the fluid film application on the 2007 truck. Um, hopefully it lasts a little while. Probably in February, maybe, I'll give you a little update on it. See how it is. Um, if it's past, uh, like, February 2014 when you're watching this video, look in the description, because I'll put a link in there to the update video. But, uh, yeah. There it is. I couldn't find a video on YouTube about this stuff, so I heard huh, I'll make one. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, there it is. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about it, just uh, leave them in the comment section down below.